Here we're given the graph of a line and asked to determine the equation in slope-intercept form, which is the form y equals mx plus b. Where in this form, m is the slope of the line and b is the vertical or y-intercept. Now we might recognize that we have a special line here because we have a horizontal line, but we'll still go through the process of determining the vertical intercept and slope. We'll notice how the line crosses or intersects the vertical axis or y-axis at this point here with coordinates 0, comma, negative 4. So because the vertical or y-intercept is the point 0, comma, negative 4 for the equation, we now know b equals negative 4. And now let's work on determining the slope. And we'll determine the slope using two different methods. We'll first determine the slope graphically, and then we'll also determine the slope using the slope formula shown here. Graphically, the slope is equal to the vertical change divided by the horizontal change. So using the line, let's select two convenient points and determine the vertical and horizontal change. Let's go ahead and select this point as the second point. So this point has coordinates negative 6, comma, negative 4. So if we move from the point on the left to the point on the right, notice how we don't move up or down at all, and therefore the vertical change is 0, and the horizontal change would be right 6 units, and therefore the horizontal change is positive 6, which means the slope m is equal to, again, the vertical change is 0, the horizontal change is 6, 0 divided by 6, or 0, 6, equals 0. Remember, this is true for any horizontal line. Any horizontal line has a slope of 0. The second method to determine the slope is to use this slope formula here, where we can say the slope equals the change in output divided by the change in input. In our case, y is the output variable, and x is the input variable. So we can say the slope equals the change of y divided by the change of x, where the change of y is y sub 2 minus y sub 1, and the change in x is x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So looking at the two points that we're using, let's go ahead and label this first point x sub 1 comma y sub 1, and this point x sub 2 comma y sub 2. So using the slope formula, we should still get a slope of 0. We would have m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 is negative 4 minus negative 4, and x sub 2 minus x sub 1 is 0 minus negative 6. So this becomes negative 4 plus 4 is 0. This becomes 0 plus 6, which is 6. And of course, we still get 0. So now to find the equation, we'll substitute negative 4 for b and 0 for m. So we'd have the equation y equals 0 times x plus negative 4, or just minus 4. Simplifying, we get y equals negative 4. It's true for any horizontal line, the equation will always be in the form y equals a constant. And this should make sense in this case because notice how any point on this line will have a y-coordinate of negative 4, and the x-coordinate can be any real number. For our homework, we enter m equals 0 and b equals negative 4. I hope you found this helpful.